Hi everyone, so in one of the previous videos, I told you all that I managed to score 77 marks in instrumentation engineering, even though my core subject was EC. I am from EC, but I wrote Kate in instrumentation engineering as well, and I managed to score 77 marks in that. And how did I do that? That also I told you. But you guys wanted a video of live problem solving from my side that I wrote, I saw many comments that you wanted me to solve the question paper. How did I actually solve the, uh, solve in the examination? So that I'm going to tell you. How did I actually do that in the examination? So let's, uh, we will just check out the questions from instrumentation engineering only. Only those questions which are only common to instrumentation students, not common to all the branches. Common question we can all, all, always solve, right? Like these aptitude question we are not going to solve. These we will be able to solve. Based on your aptitude, how much marks you score, that depends on you, right? So these aptitude, aptitude question we will not solve. Now let's move on to the first technical question. Now this question, this is 11th one, this is based on, you can say signals or control or mathematics. You can solve it, right? Now the second one, this is core instrumentation question, right? And uh, when I read this question, there is some pneumatic nozzle flapper system is given. I have absolutely, I have no idea, right? No idea at all. I will simply drop this question. Although I did not drop in my examination, I, I attempted all the question. I just took a guess, although it was wrong. It gave me minus 0.33 marks actually. It was wrong. It gave me minus 0.33 marks. So I would say better not to attempt these kind of questions. Okay. So you have absolutely no idea in this one. No idea at all. If you haven't studied the subject, you have no idea at all. So just drop this question. Uh, this is what I should have done, but I did not drop it actually in the examination. So, but ideally this should be done. Right. Now let's move on to that. Uh, this is also common, this is also common, this one is also common, this one is also common, yeah, this, this whole sensor one. So, if you are from EC guy, if you are an EC guy, you must have studied this whole effect, right, you must have studied this Hall effect in EDC, in EDC, and we study, when we study this Hall effect, we uh, see there one formula, that is Lorentz force, something F equals to ILV, right. By using this formula, Lorentz force, force formula, we derive that equation of a Hall effect. So I have studied that in EDC, Hall effect I have studied. So I thought this whole sensor is the same thing. So then I could see the option as well, Lorentz force. So this, I could take a guess here. I could take a chance, not, not a guess. This is, I, would, I was 90% uh, sure that this would be right. Because whole effect I have studied, Lorentz force is there. So I could take a chance. So this is how I got one mark in in which in which question that is based on sensor, which is of core instrumentation subject. But still being from EC, I could solve it. Right? Let's move on to the next one. This is also common. Yeah, this one. This 19th one. Okay, I can zoom it out. This 19th question. So when I read this question, the figure shows a chromal aluminal thermocouple. We don't have any idea about thermocouples. Junction A is held at temperature junction. Then at B, we are giving TB temperature. Then there is a voltmeter who, re who gives the reading even. And then all these things are there that there is copper wire introduced and these things happen. Okay. And then you need to find the relation between E1 and ND2. So most probably I will be dropping this question because I don't have any idea. But when I see the options, what do I see? Look. Let's see the option. Let's pick, pick up this, this option. E1 is equal to 2E2. That means E1 is certainly greater than E2. Are you getting my point? E1 is equal to 2E2. They are saying as per the option C. As per the option C, E1 is equal to 2E2. It is, it is, I am just telling the way I approach this. What I was doing in the examination, that I am telling. I did not solve all these questions before, right? I solved all the questions which I could answer correctly in 2 hours, in 2 hours 15 minutes. Then in the rest 45 minutes I came here, okay? It's not that I am doing it before solving all other questions. I, have, I solved all the important questions which I could solve from my side. Then I came to those questions, right? So I have time so I can do these things, right? So even is equals to 2e2. So this is one of the options. And if even is equal to 2 e2, that means even is certainly greater than e2. And this question is not M MSQ, this question is MCQ. That means if this option is correct, that means this option will certainly be correct. 
if option c is correct that means option b will certainly be correct so again take a chance and cut these option two these two option just taking a chance now i am left with two option if you want to take a chance this is one mark question and it will give you minus 0.33 if it is wrong and if it is correct it can give you one so i can think of ta taking a chance here right so there are two options a and b so now you just need to blindly take a guess i don't think you can think about it so what i did in the in the examination i clicked on this but the answer is this so i was not that much lucky i got minus 0.33 in this one as well okay so yeah these kind of things i did in the examination because instrumentation was not my primary paper it was secondary so i was just and i was also in third year only so yeah i could take a chance so yeah i was taking a chance so what i did here the thing i wanted to tell was i could cut two options by that thing this is not a method i'm just telling what i actually did in the examination because this is what you want you guys wanted right now you are saying that you are skipping all the question what you actually did in the examination let's, let's wait okay in the end you will see how i attempted all the questions in the end you will see a lot more question which could be attempted these kind of one mark question cannot be attempted here this is also based on i guess measurement but we have no idea about two wire method three wire method four wire method simply drop this question oh, although i took a guess and again i got minus 0.33 but you shouldn't do that okay i took a lot of guess because i was just uh, i was just taking like this was my secondary paper only again this was this one is msq so you can again take a guess but there is very high chance that it will be wrong only because in which of the following frequency independent so this also cannot be solved with any aptitude right so then all these are common only this is also common now 27th one see this question a photodiode is made of semiconductor with the band gap eg value is given band gap so in 12th class we have studied this formula do you remember eg equals to hc by lambda and what is the value of hc that is 1242 electron volt nanometer by lambda and that is equals to 1.42 electron volt so electron volt to electron volt will get cancelled lambda will be 1242 by 1.42 nanometer so if you solve this what do you get that will be our answer that's how i solved it with the knowledge of 12th class you can see okay so everyone must have remembered remembered this formula e is equals to hc by lambda and hc value is 1242 electron volt nanometer so 1242 divided by 1.42 so nearly 874 we get so 874 nearly 874 so that's how we can solve right so this would fetch me plus one mark even though it is from optical instrumentation it is from optical instrumentation still i would get one mark here right let's move on to the next problem next uh, this is mathematics this is machines no idea drop it 29 drop it no idea about machines and mathematics this is network analysis this 34th newton raphson method i don't know if it is there in electrical syllabus or not but it's a it's not there in ec syllabus so when i was attempting this question i had no idea uh, about this question okay i had no idea how to solve this question newton raphson method i did not uh, uh, study it it's there in instrumentation syllabus i don't know about electrical syllabus it's certainly not there in ec syllabus so i haven't studied it but i sold it how did i solve it so they are saying that you there is newton option method is applied to determine the solution of fx equals to zero and fx is given as x minus cos x so basically my fx is equals to zero so x minus cos x is equals to zero so x should be equals to cos x okay so uh in the, that is the method where you initially take a guess and then get to your final answer this is a method newton option method is something like that you take a guess and then you get to the final answer i still don't know the method because i haven't studied it yet or i studied it but i forgot currently yeah so in this you take a guess and then get to the final answer so our initial guess was x1 x naught equals to zero then next approximate approximation would be what this they are asking okay so what i would do i just need to find the solution of this that means x minus cos x is equals to zero so x will be equals to cos x only so i can make two graphs okay one graph for cos x 
and the other y is equals to cos x and other is y is equals to x. So this will be y is equals to x and where they cut this will be the solution because fx equals to 0 gives me x equals to cos x. So where they cut that will be the solution. Now I know this point this point is pi by 2 that is 1.57 and this point will certainly be before 1.57. Are you getting my point? I made the graph of cos x I made the graph of x. The solution of this equation I could tell one thing that x would be less than 1.57. The solution of this equation will be x less than 1.57 that I can certainly tell by this graph. Now my answer would be somewhere between 0 to 1.57. And this is some approximation method. So I would take something less than 1.57 somewhere here. So I need to take an approximation so I can approximate it to 1 only. So best approximation method just a, again I am taking a guess but I, I could reduce my solution from 0 to 1.57 initially what i would thought my answer can be minus infinity to infinity any value it can be but now i am reduced to 0 to 1.57 and between 0 to 1.57 you need to take a guess so what they are doing they are approximately taking values so what i thought i should i should be near to 1.57 near to 1.57 and far away from 0 so 0 is not the solution so in meantime they are taking the approximation so I just took the guess 1 and it got right. It was right. Okay. So yeah, again, this is how I did. Now these are going on guesses. Just hold on to the video. In the end, you will see how I solved with aptitude as well. So this in this question, I needed to apply a bit of aptitude, right? A small aptitude I needed to apply. This is also common. This is also common. Let's see for instrumentation. Yeah, this question. Now this question is for uh, what do we say this question is also from optical instrumentation but i again sold it in the main examination how did i do that let's take this question to our software okay we will solve it there okay now this question is basic aptitude only nothing else i am not going to give up on any question i will at least read the question okay so a car is moving collinearly with the laser beam initiated by a trans receiver so there is a car and there is a beam there is a trans receiver actually there is this trans receiver and there is this car both are some distance apart let's assume this some distance d apart a laser pulse is emitted at t equals to 0 and received back by the trans receiver 100 nanosecond later after the reflection from car so a beam goes here and comes back it takes 100 nanosecond. Okay. You don't know the speed of beam. Okay. In the next, they are saying that the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. That means that should be the speed of beam only. Right. So the speed, the speed of beam, you know, that is 3 into 8, uh, 10 to the power 8 meter per second. It goes and come back. That means distance travel is 2D. Upon time, time taken is 100 nanosecond. That means d is some 15 meter. So the distance between car and the beam was 15 meter. Now they are saying that uh, a second pulse was emitted at t equals to 0 0.1 second. A second pulse was emitted. First one was t equals to 0. Second one was t equals to 0 0.1 second. Now they are saying that the car is moving as well. Now you don't know car is moving in this direction or in this direction. You don't know that. But uh, what they are saying, a second pulse was emitted at t equals to 0 0.1 second and received back 90 nanosecond later. Now let's assume if your car was moving in the opposite direction, if a car was moving here, that means this distance would have been increased, right? If the distance would have been increased, then the time taken would be more. Beam goes and comes back. If distance is increased, the time taken would be more. But the time taken is less now, 90 seconds, which is less than the before. That means the car must be moving in the in this direction. So let's assume the speed of car is x meter per second. Speed of car is x meter per second. That means in 0 0.1 second, how much distance it covered? In 0 0.1 second, it covered 0 0.1x. 
स्पीड ऑफ कार इज एक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड इन जीरो पॉइंट वन सेकेंड हाउ मच डिस्टेंस इज कवर्ड जीरो पॉइंट वन एक्स सो नाउ वट इज द स्पीड ऑफ बीम थ्री इंटू टेन टू पावर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड वट इज द डिस्टेंस इट ट्रेवल डिस्टेंस इट ट्रेवल इज टू इंटू डी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम नाइनटीन नाइनो सेकेंड आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट द बीम वॉज इंट्रोड्यूज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेकेंड लेटर इन जीरो पॉइंट वन सेकेंड द कार ट्रेवल्ड जीरो पॉइंट वन एक्स मीटर द कार ट्रेवल्ड दिस मच जीरो पॉइंट वन एक्स मीटर सो नाउ द टोटल डिस्टेंस दैट इज लेफ्ट इज डी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन एक्स सो बीम विल गो एंड कम बैक सो टोटल डिस्टेंस इट विल ट्रेवल इज टू इन टू डी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन एक्स सो फ्रॉम हेयर इफ यू सोल इट यू कैन गेट डी वैल्यू वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट इज फिफ्टीन डी वैल्यू वी ऑलरेडी नो सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ओके and that we get is let's check that so 9027 13.5 15 so x value get, we get is 15 so the car is moving with the speed of 15 meter per second car is moving with the speed of 15 meter per second you have to convert it into kilometer per hour if you need to convert it in, into kilometer per hour you need to multiply with uh, 5 by 18 so 18 by 5 You need to multiply it with eighteen by five. If you multiply with eighteen by five, it will be fifty-four kilometer per hour. So the car is moving with the speed of fifty more fifty-four kilometer per hour towards that trans receiver. That's it. Option E, plus two marks for sure. Here. Okay. So these kind of should, question you should never drop. Did you get the point here? If you just see beam trans receiver, I don't know the term, and you just drop it, you will regret it when you see the solution. just solution is aptitude if this question was asked in aptitude you you would be solving it but this is asked in the technical and you will be dropping it here i could got two marks did you get the point okay so that's the way let's move on to other questions this is laplace only this is based on control systems as far as i remember this was very easy question but i got it wrong in the examination i did some mistake in this one Okay, this is also very. This is also very easy, and I did did some mistake in that one. Although in the uh, whole paper there was some minor mistake. So two control systems uh, question I got wrong, and uh, one in the aptitude, and one analog like in range I got it wrong, and those I attempted all question so there was a bit of negative as well. So that thing happened. Okay, yeah. None of my guess was correct. That I could say. Only that Newton Raphson, as far as I remember, that was correct only because that was near nearly a guess only one point five seven and that much. So as far as I remember, that was correct only, or that could be wrong as well. I don't actually remember. Uh, but somehow I managed to score a few instrumentation questions that I am telling you. How did I solve? So yeah, that's how I got it. So let's move on to other questions. These are the like very easy analog questions. So these I could solve very fastly. These ones as well. This is very easy. Uh, this is analog, very easy. Control maths. These were very straightforward from maths and uh, maths and from other common subjects. Very straightforward question was there. Now let's see this question. Fifty first. Okay. I don't have any idea about monochromatic light uh, of wavelength anything. And what I need to find, I need to find absorption coefficient. If you have studied enough PCM and enough engineering in your life, you know one thing: that whenever you find this absorption coefficient, the relation follows exponential form, exponential decreasing. In the question, it is there that this is one centimeter thick sample material is there, and if you pass the light from that thick sample, uh, what it is saying, the measure light intensity after transmission. Through a one centimeter thick sample of the material is this much. So when you pass it, when you pass it through a one centimeter thick sample, one centimeter thick sample, whatever the intensity was here, let's assume it was I naught. When you pass it after one centimeter thick sample, you get zero point four one four, and you when you pass it after two centimeter one, whatever light was here I naught, you get zero point one eight six. So when my thickness was increased my intensity decreased that means it is following neg exponential but decreasing 
look i can't say it is exponential but in most of the cases it is always exponential we have seen enough engineering we have seen that decaying of the radioactive element that is also exponential rc circuit exponential and uh, in chemistry as well we have studied right the what was the equilibrium equations are there that was that used to be exponential as well so in most of the cases it is exponential so i can take a chance that let's try it the intensity can be given as i naught e to the power minus alpha x alpha is the coefficient also in emft we study right so that also i follow exponential equation so these kind of things i can assume so what i was getting after 1 cm i was getting 0.414 so i can say that 0.414 is equals to i not i don't know what was the intensity here e to the power minus alpha i need to calculate 1 cm right and for the second equation 0.186 i not e to the power minus alpha 2 cm you need to find the value of alpha what you can do you can divide both of the equation 0.414 divide by 0.186 e to the power alpha it will be i guess right yeah into the power alpha it will be so 0.414 divided by 0.186 ln so 0.8 you are getting 0.8 so yeah here i can say that i will get plus 2 again very easily i got plus 2 here 0.8 this was correct only okay so in these kind of question i can take a chance are you getting my point Uh, next one is network analysis only this is control network now this question no idea at all one thing one thing i note that that i need to calculate the power but i don't know how to calculate the power of three phase simply drop it i have no idea how to calculate the power of three phase if uh, some electrical guys are there they can calculate it as far as i know because they study three phase circuit and they study measurement as well so simply i dropped uh, i should have dropped it but i just take any guess i took any guess and it wasn't right that's for sure like here you can't take any perfect guess right so this we can drop or take any guess because this will not be negative this is nat type this is analog only now this is emft but we don't study emft that much deeply we study emft but we study that uh, transmission line part wave guides uh, and uh, uh, these plane plane wave equations that we study antenna we study right but we don't study electrostats and magnetostats ec guys electrical guys study electrostats and magnetostat and this was a very simple formula based question but i couldn't do it correctly okay very simple simple formula based question it was and now now i don't know the formula but if anyone knows the formula he would have got plus 2 but i got actually zero okay so yeah because we don't study electrostats and magnetostats that's why i couldn't solve this problem so yeah this was also doubt now this is network only now this is also a formula based question very straight forward formula based question 59th one if anyone has studied emft he can easily solve this problem very straight forward formula based question but still i did not remember the formula so i couldn't solve it electrical guys would have been getting this four marks for free formula based question only magnetostats and this is electrostats but i did not remember any formula so i couldn't solve it as well this is lti system only this is jet transform this is this is what network analysis only now yeah this one now although this question is based on uh, measurement this question is based on measurement but still we could solve it how did we how could we solve it they are saying that it is balanced bridge so what should be the value of l if it is balanced then multiplication of these two will be equals to multiplication of these two the impedance provided by these two r1 into r4 equals to impedance provided by these two so impedance provided by this will be r3 plus l3 s into impedance provided by this that would be r2 upon r2 c2 s plus 1 r2 upon r2 c2 s plus 1 now i need to equate these two but what i i would think what i would think doing the examination i would think that if i solve this equation i need to put a lot of effort because in the denominator i will have j omega in the numerator as well i will have j omega then i will have to rationalize and do all these stuffs right so better what i should do i will take this r2 c2s plus 1 that that side 
आर वन आर फोर आर टू सी टू एस प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू आर टू आर थ्री प्लस आर टू एल थ्री एस नाउ टेल मी वन थिंग इफ एल्फा वन प्लस आयोटा बीटा वन इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस आयोटा बी देन यू नो वन थिंग दैट इमेजिनरी पार्ट हैज टू बी इक्वल एल्फा वन विल बी इक्वल टू एल्फा Uh, alpha one will be equals to a. That's for sure. But imaginary parts has to be equal as well. That means beta one will be equals to b. So I will put imaginary part equals to equal because also I need to find l three as well. So imaginary part I will put equal, right? So what I would do? R one, R four, R two, C two is equals to R two L three, right? So R two R two will get cancelled. L three is equals to R one, R four, C two. That's it. R1 value I know, R4 value I know, so it would be 5 into 10 to the power 3, R1, R4, right? R1, R4, 5 into 10 to the power 3 into C2, 2.9 into 10 to the power minus 6, so 2.9 into 5, 2.9 into 5, 13, so 13 milli Henry we are getting, so here plus 2 I could score easily. Right, this was very easy question. Plus two, I could score it out. Right. Let's move on to next problem. This is analog only. In this question, I I matched up in the uh, that three decimal place. Okay, in the range I matched up actually. Very easy question and simply I matched it up. This could have given given me plus two. No problem. This one. This is based on sensor. Right, this question is based on sensor or transducer, whatever it is. But we can solve it with the simple concept of network analysis as well. How will we solve it? So look, initially the switch is open and the voltage difference between positions C and D is VCD. And uh, upon closing the switch, the resistance uh, to the arm AD is changed to delta R1. The voltage difference between V uh, CD is changes to delta VCD, then sensitivity of the bridge is defined as sensitivity and all these things. So they have told what is delta VCD. They have also told what is delta R1. So that we can find, right? So initially my R1 is 1.5 kilo, 1.5 kilo. This one is 1 kilo. This one is 1 kilo. This one is 1 kilo, right? Initially switch is open. So what will be my VD? Vd would be one upon two point five into ten, and what will be my Vc? That would be five only. One by two into ten, five. So what will be my Vcd? Vcd would be ten upon two point five. That means four. So Vcd would be one only. Vcd would be one. Before that, now what is happening? This thirty kilo ohm came in action. So thirty parallel with one point five. What it will give me? Thirty parallel with one point five. 30 into 1.5 divided by 31.5. Nearly it is giving me 1.43. 1.43. Although in the exam you should write uh, till three decimal. 1.428 kilo ohm it is giving me. Okay. So now I need to find VCD dash. VC dash I am finding. What if what will be my VC dash? That will be five volt only because nothing will change here. What will be my VD dash? VD dash will be one upon Plus one one upon what will be my VCD? That will be one upon one plus one point four two eight into ten. That will be my answer, right? Into ten. That will be four point one one. Four point one one. So what will be my delta? So no. What will be my VCD dash? So that would be five minus four point one one. That means it is zero point eight eight two. 0.882 nearly I am getting. So what is my delta VCD now? So delta VCD I have calculated. That is 1 minus 0.882. So 0.117 I have calculated it. 0.117. So delta VCD I am done with. Now what is my delta R1? Initially this resistance was 1.5 kilo ohm. Initially this was 1.5 kilo ohm. Now this is 1.428. 1.428. So this is my delta R1, right? So 1.5 minus 1.428, nearly 0.072. So this is 0.072. What do I need to need to find? Delta VCD by delta R1. So basically, 
0.117 divided by 0.072 into 0.117 1.625 i am getting 1.625 and that was the correct because we needed to round off to two decimals so 1.63 i could estimate it so 1.63 i could put here and that was the correct answer although this question was based on transducer but we can we could solve it with the concept of network analysis as well so this is what i was saying okay please don't dislike the video before watching it completely so my point is never drop any question if you are going for your secondary examination just solve all the problem which you could solve correctly okay and then we can move on to those problems which are from other subjects but still we can attempt it okay so yeah since you guys wanted this video i came up with that okay okay then i hope you got a good idea how you can attempt your instrumentation question paper okay thank you